Hi and welcome, this is Vlad Slavnik from SellingMadeEasy.net Welcome to one of the most beautiful cities in the world Behind me is the great MCG We've had cricket there, we've had athletics there We've had the great AFL And you can imagine how many people they can pack in there Over a hundred thousand people So, if you don't want to be like people being packed in there Hundreds and hundreds of them And you want to stand out in the crowd Let me tell you a couple of things Look, everyone these days is an expert you look at people on YouTube with various videos. You can find just about anything on YouTube. But does it really mean that it's good? Does it mean that it's quality? Does it mean that it's got what you need? Well, a little while ago, I uh, took a half a dozen young athletes for a bit of a, a bit of a training session, and parents came along and had a bit of fun. And all of a sudden, parents are coming up to me saying, "Hey, you know what? We know what you're telling us. We already know all that." because YouTube has been one of our best friends. Can you imagine that? 29 years of sales experience and then somebody's gonna come along and say that YouTube has been their best friend. Hey, it works for some, but it's okay. What I'm trying to say to people is that everyone today is an expert, but are they really? Do they really know what it's all about? Have they put in the hard yards? Are they theorists? Are they academics? Have they just gone and copied someone else's stuff, put it together, and create an e-book or an e-course. I'm not really sure, but I'm here to tell you that I've spent a long, long time in sales. I've studied selling. I've studied psychology. I've been interviewed by some fantastic people. I've been in many, many different fields. I have trained many, many different salespeople, trainers, sales managers, business owners, and so on. But anyway, that's, that, that's enough about me. I'm not here to tell you how fantastic I am. What I'm here to tell you is that sometimes you've got to get the right information. And I'm glad you stopped by down here on my side, because what I'm about to reveal to you is that everyone out there is an expert of some sort. So let's talk about experts. We're in a business of sales, yes? Selling is what we've chosen to do as a, as a career. But are we really fit for it? Is that type of career for us? Is that what we want to do? Is that something that we are passionate about? Let me tell you another little story. Many, many years ago, I was uh, managing one of my own businesses and I had a number of staff and I used to come to the office about quarter to eight, eight o'clock every morning. The cleaners were there at 7.30, just before I got there and every morning there was a chap sitting in my office. And I'd say, hello, hi, how are you going? He'd, he'd introduce himself to me and say, look, I'm not doing anything special. I just wondered whether you can use me. Well, at that particular time, I couldn't use him. I didn't have anything for him. So I just said, look, thanks very much. I can't use you, but thanks for stopping by anyway. Well, he didn't seem to mind. He thanked me and he left. Next morning, I came, same routine, came to the office. And guess what? He was there again, sitting there and waiting. And I said, Peter, what are you doing there? And he said, well, it's okay, I just wondered, maybe you can use me for something. Well, again, the story was the same. This went on for about three to four weeks. After about the fourth week, I started realizing, well, this guy is very, very passionate. I mean, he wants to do something. He's approaching me in the right manner. He's not asking for anything, just for an opportunity to sit down and do something for me and my company and for himself, of course. So I did offer him a job as a cadet, as a trainer, and uh, as a trainee, I should say, and he ended up being one of the best consultants we've ever had. Why, you might ask? Well, the reason he became one of the best consultants is because he had the passion, he had the desire, he had the determination, and he had the dedication to put in what was required to succeed. He didn't go online, he didn't go visit YouTube and watch some videos and become an expert overnight. He listened to some good advice. We held him by the hand, we showed him, we trained him, we taught him, he followed it to the latter and actually he became extremely successful in our business and then went on to go into his own business and we wish Peter all the best in what he's actually doing. So, what are the skills you need? Well, the skills that you need in sales are very, very basic. Number one, they call what I call the three Ds. Uh, three Ds in an R, I should say. It sounds like he's Germany, D, 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 R. But look, first thing is you need the determination. What does the determination mean? Well, determination to go for it, to not be afraid. Whatever happens to you, like, like Peter did, sat there and asked, and doesn't matter how many times I told him I have nothing for you, he kept coming back. Determination. 
Then he had the desire. He said to me, Vlad, look, I wanted to get in sales. I've never done it. Can you teach me? Can you help me? I mean, what can I do? The guy asked for help. Same is here. I'm trying to help you with experience and knowledge that I've accumulated over the years. No problem. I want to help you if you want to be helped. Third one is the, 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 let's say it was determination, desire, and dedication. So the dedication is, he was dedicated. He was the first into the office, last out. He did more calls than anybody else. He attended more training sessions with me, one-on-ones. He asked for one-on-ones. Why? Because he wanted to succeed. And the P is persistence. Repetitious persistence. That's what the R is, repetitious persistence. He was there persisting continuously. No matter how many people said to him, no, we're not interested, he kept going, he kept going. He was persistent, persistent, persistent to the point we become extremely successful. And that's what it's all about. So why are we talking here? Why am I talking to you? What I'm trying to say to you is that I have the systems, the knowledge, the experience to get you to where you want to get to. In my program, which is called my book if you like it's called stop selling to sell more and what does that mean that most people are overselling is i've got the forgotten secrets of the art of selling without selling remember forgotten secrets of the art of selling without selling everyone today has got these techniques and they've got um, uh, uh, scripts that are so long and they, it's a play on words it's a, it's trying to trick the customer it's trying to be trendy it's trying to use words that no one really understands technical terms no one really cares the customer out there today wants you to help them they are confused as I said, everyone's an expert, but it doesn't mean they know exactly what they want. When a customer comes to you or, or a client comes to you, they want you as the sales professional to help them, to help them make the job easier, to help them purchase or acquire something that's going to make their life easier and simpler. So you're the expert. They've come to It's like when you come to a doctor. You don't say to a doctor, doctor, my knee's hurting, therefore I need this, this, this and this. Can you hurry up and write me a prescription? You go to the doctor and he goes through a, a, a process of asking you questions, elimination, examining you, figuring out what's best, maybe sending you out to get some extra tests done before you come back to him. And then he says, right, this is what we worked out. Is, 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 is the difficulty of the problem. This is the course of action we're going to take and so on and so forth. So in sales is exactly the same. How do we get there? A system. We start by figuring out what are your likes? What are your dislikes? What are you good at? What are you bad at? What do you want to get into sales? So find out a little bit about you. Who are you? Why have you chosen this fantastic field of selling? Is it something that you're passionate? Is it something that you know maybe a friend or a neighbor or a family member is doing and making a lot of money? You think, hey, I'm going to get into that because I'm going to make a lot of money. Well, you may, you may not if you're doing it for the wrong reasons. So we go through all this. Then we give you a little quiz. We give you some questions. We ask you some, some, some everyday things like uh, role play. So the whole course is based around figuring out and working around you how you can fit in to the sales mode. And then, of course, the art of selling without selling is a forgotten art. And that's why I'm here exposing it to you guys who want to actually take it to the next level and go there. And again, why my course? Because it leads you from A to Z all the way through hand by hand, step by step, so you understand each particular process and how you fit into the process and how you can help the, the customer. Not just a generalized thing about, you know, I've written a book and this is what you do in sales, you've got the preamble, the amble, so on and so forth, closing, pre-closing, all that stuff. That's just theory. It's about you, how you can mold your personality into this particular business, how you will succeed. And that's what I'm all about, working with you and finding out how you su succeed. Now, let me tell you another story while on the same vein about success. My son is 10 years old and he somehow fluked into getting into the school to represent the school in the, in the discus throw for the, for the, for the uh, state school. Anyway, he said, Dad, look, I've, uh, I'm re representing the school. Would you be interested in training me? Well. You can imagine it's something that I've done years ago. I was pretty good at it, but uh, training him, and I immediately started thinking, wow, we've got to work at a program for him. We've got to work at a fitness program regime. We've got to work at a diet regime. We've got to work at a speed regime, a technique regime, a psychology regime. And I started to get myself all flustered. And he said to me, Dad, 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 all I want to do is throw the discus and win. I don't want to do it as a career. I'm just representing the school. 
I don't want to do it. I don't know where it's going to take me, but I just want to throw and win. And when he said that word to me, I want to throw to win, the whole thing just changed. I worked out in a small program for him that suited him, that just gave him enough what he needed to do, gave him a bit of psychology, prepared him for the event, and he actually succeeded won all the divisions right through to the States. Now, I'm not saying this to brag to you how terrific my son is, but he said to me, Dad, all I want to do is win. I want to win this competition. I don't want to do it as a career. I want to do the best I can on the day so that I win and make you proud, my school proud, and everybody else proud. But how good is this? So you guys, if you're doing selling for the right reasons and you want to get into it because you're passionate, confused, if you're, you're, you, you, you've got some idea how you can help other people, I can help you. I can help you. I can take you step by step right through with my course. It's called Stop Selling. You've got to stop selling. Stop selling to sell more. We teach you how to stop selling, how to just be you. How to just be you and how to mold yourself around your customer. Because as I keep saying, the customer of today is very confused. Because he goes online, he sees lots of things. He gets the brochures, he does the research, he goes to shops. People tell him, I bought this, that's good, I bought that or the other. So he's got all this information hovering around his head or her head. But the problem is, He's now even more confused, so he needs salespeople like us to take him by the hand and to lead him, to show him, to guide him by asking lots of good questions that are going to eventually lead him to the sale. And of course, by doing that, you've helped him, you've helped yourself, and you're going to go on a wonderful career in sales. So get my course. It's called Stop Selling to Sell More, The Forgotten Art of... Uh, the forgotten art, the forgotten secrets of the art of the art of selling without selling. It's all there for you. Plus, there's a couple extra interviews I've put in there that I've been interviewed over the years, and also there's a couple of goodies that you'll see. Just click down the bottom here, get it now. You won't regret it. And you know what? When you keep doing that, and you follow the guidelines and follow the book and mold your own personality into it, sooner or later you're going to be great. And I'm not going to see you over there with a hundred thousand other people I'm going to see you up there on top on top of the dice being number one in your chosen field this has been Vlad Slavnik it's been a pleasure talking to you look forward to seeing you get my course you're not gonna regret it bye for now